beautiful child in the world, I love you. Thank you for coming towards me this day, this hour. Thank you for giving unto me your time, this precious moment in your time on the earth. I am your Father in heaven and I long to speak with you this day. I long to reveal unto you my love, my glory, my presence. You are beautiful in my sights, my child. I love you. I love you unconditionally. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You reflect my goodness, my love in the world. I am in you, my child, every fiber of your being exist because I created you. I reflect all who I am through each and every child on the earth. I know your thoughts, your plans, your intentions because I place them all within you. Receive my love this day. Receive my son, my precious son, into your life. Repent of your sins, my children. This is a new day in your life. A day and opportunity to start again. To walk in the fullness of my glory. I know the plans I have for you, my child. Plans for goodness, righteousness, faithfulness, purity. I can turn your life around this day, my child, in an instant, in a single moment. All you need to do this day, my child, is give your whole heart and soul unto me to surrender unto my will and purposes for your life. To let go of all your striving, seeking, searching, desiring. Let go this day, my child. Relax, breathe. Breathe deeply, my child. Look around you. You exist on a planet in the middle of nowhere. Round and round and round you go. Oblivious to all that is happening around you. The universe that continues to spin, to move, to expand. All around you, my child, things are happening, coming into existence. I need you to get a wider experience of your life. Greater depth, my child. I need you to see all which surrounds you this day. The universe, the stars, the planets, the birds, the trees, the earth. I need you to see with your physical eyes, but I also need for your spiritual eyes to be opened, for you to become aware of all which surrounds you both physically and spiritually in my creation. I am your God and I exist in spirit. I am spirit. Therefore, I can be in all things, in all ways, and at all times. 
I am omnipresent, omnipotent. I see all things, I know and understand all things, and I am all things. I have given each and every person the ability to hear my voice, to understand my ways, and to feel my presence. The veil which covers your eyes must be lifted. Your heart must be open to receive my love and my Holy Spirit must be invited to dwell within you. Your sins must be forgiven, my child, through the blood of Christ, the sacrificial lamb, the Messiah, my son. I sent him to the world for you, my children. He is one with me. He exists with me for eternity. He is my word. He came in the flesh, my children, to teach you all things concerning my ways. He came for you to live and die and rise again by my spirit my children I rose your saviour from the grave lift your eyes towards heaven this day do not get caught up in the material possessions of your earth Seek my face this day, my child. Seek all who I am, your God. For I wish to reveal unto you my mysteries. I wish to speak with you one on one. I wish to give you all things this day, my child. To open your eyes to the heavenly realms. so that you can be free, free to live on your earth in peace and rest and joy, free to dance, free to sing, free to move without restriction, without distraction. I wish to break the chains which bind you chains of thought, chains of memories, chains of people who cause you harm, chains of workload, chains of emotion. Spiritually, I wish to set you free this day, my child. You can be set free transformed, your mind renewed through my word, through my presence, through my Holy Spirit, through the blood which was shed for you in Calvary. You can walk free this day from the sin that binds you, the chains of sin which threaten to smother you, to take your life, to destroy all which I have in my love created for you to enjoy. Bind all depression, all sickness, all anger off your souls now. Bind the devil now in the name of Jesus Christ, your Lord and Saviour. For his name is a name above all names throughout every generation. Bow your knee before your Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. 
do not resist another moment for he is your Lord he is your God he is your Redeemer your judge at your life's end he will be your judge my child do not reject him do not turn your face from him. Do not walk into the darkness. The path to hell is wide, my children, and many take it. There is a time of separation from your God at life's end if you do not receive the sacrificial blood of your Saviour upon your soul during this lifetime. You will be separated from me for all eternity. This is not a threat. This is not to scare you. This is simply truth. This is how I have created it to be. It will not change because you want it to change. It is written in my word, in my holy Bible. I am not a man that I should lie. And I am not a man that I should change my mind. This is an eternal truth, my children. And my prophets, my scribes, my evangelists, my ministers, my preachers of the word have been warning you since the beginning. Every generation hears this same message. Many try to change it, change my truth to suit themselves, to win the favour of man, to be loved. My children do not be surprised that at your life's end many have walked into the darkness. Many will not spend eternal life in my heavenly realm. Many will not be there. I understand you do not like this truth, but I am warning you this day, my child, so that it is not your soul which also walks into the darkness of the abyss. Today is the day for salvation, redemption, forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. Today is the day to bow your knee before me, to surrender heart and soul unto your God to give me your all. For I created you, my child, not man. I created the spirit which lives and dwells within you. I know you to the depth of your soul, your being. I know every part of you. For you are part of me. And when you give your life to my Son, your Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, spiritually I will come and bring you to life. I will transform and renew you. I promise to set you free from all which binds you. Walk in the ways of the world no longer, my child. Surrender unto me your will, and I promise to lift you up and carry you. I promise to be with you all the days of your life. I promise that goodness and mercy will flow through you, that love and peace and joy and rest will abound. I promise to look after you, to take good care of you, 
to heal you from all which ails you, to set you free, heart, mind and soul. I wish to show you all good things, my child, to reveal unto you my love, my peace, my glory, to open the heavenly realms for you to see, to show you all which is to come, to speak with you one on one daily, to deliver you from your fears, your anxieties, your grief. I wish to reassure you this day, my child, that all things work together for good, that all things are under my will and control. You are simply part of this amazing journey called life. And it does not end with your final breath on the earth. If you have received the sacrificial blood of the Lamb for your forgiveness, if you have given your life to my Son, your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, if you have handed your will and control into my hands and allowed me to enter within you, to fill you with my Holy Spirit, to bless and transform your life. It does not have to end for you at the end of this lifetime, but for many it will. Eternal life is not guaranteed for those who cannot surrender unto my love and my ways. I will not force you to spend eternal life in my dwelling place, in the kingdom of heaven which I have created for your souls after this life's end. I will not force you to love me, to know me, to allow me to inhabit every part of your being this day. It is your free will, your choice, and I have given this to every man, woman and child. You have free will this day to do as you please, to love me or reject me, my children, to walk with me or to walk away from me, to place your hand in mine or to walk this earth on your own. I promise, my child, to give you all good things, to bless your life, to be with you, to bring you joy and peace and happiness. I want to walk with you as a friend, my child, to show you things you could never imagine possible, to allow my peace, my glory, to swirl within your innermost being night and day, to open your spiritual eyes to see my face, all which, it's awaits, all which awaits you on the other side of this lifetime. But you must trust me, my child. You must learn to trust in my ways, my truth, my eternal life, which is waiting for all those who have surrendered unto my Son, all those who have received my Holy Spirit, all those who love me with all of their heart, mind, soul and strength. I see you this day, my children, and I love you. I am your Father in heaven and I thank you for giving me your whole life, for trusting me with each day, for praying unto me for the salvation of others, for walking in my will and obeying my commands. My commands are for your good, not your harm, my children. 
My commands are to help you through this lifetime, to help you navigate through each and every day. My words are truth and eternal and life everlasting. Praise you for searching out my ways this day, for drawing near to me, as I so lovingly wish to draw near to you. I love you my child and I wish to give you all good things. I am your Father in heaven. I have a plan and purpose for your life. Let me lead you this day. Reach out your hand and place it in mine. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and trust that I will work all things together for good in your life. Bless you this day, my child. I bless you. I bless all that you do, all that you think. I bless you in spirit and my truth. Do not listen to the words of man. They will lead you astray. Listen to my words, my eternal words of truth for your life. I am your God and I know all things. Man has only such a short time on the earth. Do not trust his words. He knows not my ways. He seeks not my face. Trust those who have been entrusted to speak my words to you, my children. Trust those whom I place in your heart to speak to you. Not all ministers and pastors can be trusted, for they have their own agenda. They seek money, fame, fortune respect, love from my people. There are many ulterior motives in the kingdom on earth. I will tell you who to trust, my children. I will place in your heart a church you can attend with people who will love and support you. Not all men can be trusted, my children. Not all men are walking in my ways and in my will. The devil seeks distraction in your lives this time on the earth. The devil is manipulating my children. He is causing distraction. My ministers are not having time to spend with me in my word, in prayer and in worship. They have become so busy entertaining the world, entertaining my children who seek more and more of an experience with me. My child Come to me in the quiet times of your day and seek my love, my presence, my beauty, my glory. Be still and know that I am God. I will fill you full to overflowing with my love, my presence, my glory but you must learn to rest in my love, my peace. You must learn to be still, to not rely on others, to entertain you, to make you feel good. I love you, my child. Come to me this day. Give unto me your life 
surrender heart and soul unto my ways and my will. I am your Father in heaven and I love you with a never-ending love, now and forever. Amen.